हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग वेल आई एम राखी फ्रॉम जी एस एस संगोवाल लुधियाना आई एम हेयर विद यू टू कॉन्टिन्यू माई सेशन ऑन द लेसन वन ऑफ आर मेन कोर्स बुक द हैप्पी प्रिंस स्टूडेंट वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन सम ऑफ द पोर्शन ऑफ दिस लेसन इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन सो लेट अस रिकॉल दैट स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज आंसर दीज क्वेश्चन How was the statue of Happy Prince decorated? Where was the swallow going? Where were the drops coming from? Students, yes, you are right. The statue was gilded with gold. It had two bright sapphires for its size. It has a large red ruby on its sword hilt. The swallow was going to Egypt. The drops were coming from the eyes of the statue of the happy prince. The happy prince written by Oscar Wilde. In our previous session we came to know about the happy prince. The happy prince was a beautiful statue. He was covered with gold. He had sapphires for his eyes and a ruby on his sword hilt. when alive the prince lived in the palace where no sorrow was allowed to enter he did not know what tears were his courtiers called him the happy prince after death his statue had been set up very high he could see all the sorrows and miseries of the poor the little swallow was doing whatever the prince directed him to do the swallow help the seamstress with the ruby from the sword hilt of the happy prince so students i have just briefed you up here whatever we have read in our last session so let us start with our today's session so students now now i am going to read listen for you listen to me very carefully swallow swallow little swallow said the prince far away across the city i see a young man in a garret he is leaning over a desk covered with papers and in the glass by his side here is a bunch of withered violets his hair is brown and crisp and his lips are red as a pomegranate and he has large and dreamy eyes and he is trying to finish a play for the director of the theater but he is too cold to write any more there is no fire in the grate and the hunger has made him faint i will wait with you one night longer said the swallow who really had a good heart he asked if he should take another ruby to the young playwright alas i have no ruby now said the prince my eyes are all that i have left they are made of rare sapphires which were brought out of india a thousand years ago he ordered the swallow to pluck out one of them and take it to the playwright he will sell it to the dweller and buy firewood and finish his play he said dear prince said the swallow i cannot do that and he began to weep swallow swallow little swallow said the prince do as i command you so the swallow plucked out the prince's eye and flew away to the student's garret it was easy enough to get in as there was a hole in the roof through this he darted and came into the room the young man had his head buried in his hands so he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wings when he looked up he found the beautiful sapphire lying on the withered violets i am beginning to be appreciated 
he cried this is from some great admirer now i can finish my play and he looked quite happy friends before i explain this text to you i am just explaining meanings of some difficult words here i have also used these words in sentences so that its meaning would be quite clear to you garret it is a noun word here it means a small dark room at the top of a house almost this room is used to store broken furniture she shifted the broken furniture to the garret great it is also a noun word here it means a metal frame for holding wood or coal in the fireplace there was no fire in the grate dart this word has been used here as a verb it means to fly straight like a narrow the bird darted through the open window and reached the cupboard straight with wither is also used as a verb here it means to become dry and die the plants used to wither in hot sun students in our previous session we have already come to know that swallow and happy prince has helped the seam stress and after doing that when swallow wanted to return to egypt prince again requested him to stay with him for one more night because he had another assignment for him so here in these lines he is asking the swallow to do his second work he says that far away across the city i could see in a small dark room at the top of the house a young man is sitting he was sitting on a desk on which the papers were spread all over and he was trying to work hard he had a glass lying near him in which withered flowers were lying further the happy prince gave a description of that boy to swallow he said that his hair was brown and crisp which meant that he had not taken bath for a long time his lips were like a pomegranate and he had big dreamy eyes that means the boy was very ambitious and hard working further the happy prince said that this boy needed to finish writing a play he was a writer and he had to give the play to the director after writing but he did not have strength to write it more because he was feeling very cold the boy had no money so that's why there was no fire in his fireplace and he was very hungry also due to which he was feeling very weak the swallow understood what happy prince was to trying to tell him he knew that happy prince wanted to help this boy so he agreed to stay back for one more night and further the swallow asked happy prince if he should take another ruby stone to give it to the young playwright just like he had given it to the old seamstress prince said that it was very sad now that he did not have any more ruby stones with him happy prince said that now he had his eyes which were made of very precious and rare sapphires stones which had been bought thousands of year ago from india so happy prince told swallow to take out one sapphire and give it to the boy the swallow was very sad to learn the happy prince wanted to give his eyes to the boys and he started he told happy prince that he could not do so 
But then the happy prince ordered the swallow to do what he had told him to do. So finally, the swallow took out one eye, one sapphire out of prince's eye, and flew to the roof of the room. So the swallow entered the room through that hole. The boy was sitting his head on his hands and that's why he did not hear the flutter of the bird's wing. And when he looked up, he saw the sapphire stone lying on the dried flowers. When the boy saw the beautiful stone, he felt that some admirer, some person who praised him, had sent a gift for him. So he thought that with this, he could now finish his play. Students, you can see in this picture that how sad the writer is looking. He is feeling very depressed. And from his clothes, we can also judge that it is a wintry night. I hope you can easily understand the plight of this writer. So now, before moving forward to the session, let me ask you some questions related to this episode of the lesson. What troubled the young man in the garret? What had the swallow given to the young man? Students, please recall that picture which I have just shown to you and try to answer these questions. Yes, what troubled that young man in the garret? That was hunger only. The young man felt hungry in the garret. And the next question what had the swallow given to the young writer? The swallow had given sapphire to the young writer. The next day, the swallow flew down on the harbor. He sat on the mast of a large vessel and watched the sailors working. I am going to Egypt, cried the swallow, but nobody minded. And when the moon rose, he flew back to the happy prince. I have come to bid you goodbye, he cried. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Will you not stay with me one night longer? It is winter, answered the swallow. And the snow will soon be here in Egypt. The sun is warm on the green palm trees. And the crocodiles lie in the mud and look lazily about them. In the square below, said the happy prince, there stands a little match girl. She has let her matches fall in the gutter and they are all spoiled. Her father beat her if she does not bring home some money and she is crying. She has no shoes or stockings. And her little head is bare. Pluck out my other eye and give it to her. And her father will not beat her. I will stay with you one night longer, said the swallow. But I cannot pluck out your eye. You would be quite blind then. Swallow, swallow, little swallow, said the prince. Do as I command you. So he plucked out the prince's other eye, and darted down with it. He swooped past the match girl and slipped the jewel into the palm of her hand. What a lovely bit of glass, cried the little girl, and she ran home laughing. Then the swallow came back to the prince. You are blind now, he said, so I will stay with you always. No, little swallow, said the poor prince. You must go away to Egypt. No, I will stay with you always, said the swallow. And he slept at the prince's feet. All the next day, he sat on the prince's shoulder and told him stories of what he had seen in strange lands. Dear little swallow, said the prince, you tell me of the marvelous things, but more marvelous than anything is the suffering of men. 
and women. There is no mystery so great as misery. Fly over my city, little swallow, and tell me what you see there. Students, meaning of a difficult word has been given here for you. Our word here is swoop. It is a verb. It means to fly quickly downwards. Next morning, the swallow bird flew down to the harbor and sat on the mast of a ship. He spent his whole day there. He was looking the sailors on the ship. He spoke loudly that he was going to Egypt. And when it was night, he flew back to Prince. Swallow once again told the happy prince that it had come to say goodbye. He was going to Egypt. And once again, happy prince requested Swallow to stay with him for one more night. The Swallow said to the happy prince that the winter season had started and after some time it would start snowing. The weather in Egypt was warm and even the crocodile lay on the mud lazily there and she told him to let him go to Egypt. Now this was the third assignment. The happy prince said that there was a match girl. She was a little girl and all her matchsticks had fallen in the gutter and got wet. All her matchsticks were spoiled so she could not sell them and she would not earn any money. And when she would go home without money then her father would get angry and beat her. For this reason, the girl was crying. Further, the happy prince said that she was not wearing shoes or stockings and she had not covered her head. She was very poor. So, he said to the swallow to take out another sapphire from his eyes and give it to her so that her father did not beat her. Swallow agreed to stay with him for one more night, but he refused to take out another sapphire because if he did that, the happy prince would be blind. Again, happy prince told Swallow to do what he had ordered him. So finally, the Swallow obeyed the happy prince's order. He took another sapphire stone from his eye and flew to the little match girl. And when he saw the match girl, he bent very low and kept the sapphire stone on the little girl's hand. The little girl was very happy to see the stone and she went home happily. Now when the swallow returned to the Happy Prince, he told him that now he was blind and so he would stay with him forever. But Happy Prince said to the Swallow that he should go to Egypt. But Swallow refused and said that he would stay with him only. And she slept on the Prince's feet. All the next day he sat on the Prince's shoulder and told him stories of what he had seen in strange land, mystery lands. The lands he had visited. The happy prince said to Swallow to tell him wonderful things, but added that nothing was more wonderful than the suffering of people. No mystery was bigger than the sadness, and he wanted to know who all was sad in his kingdom. So he asked the swallow to go and let him know what he saw while flying over the city. Students see in these lines, we can see that how the happy prince helped the match girl. This is also showing us that how kind and merciful he was. He was ready to be blind for a match girl. He really wanted to help that. And in these lines, we can also come to know how merciful and kind was Swallow also. He was not ready to pluck the another sapphire 
from the eye of happy prince because he did not wanted him to be blind but he then agreed to do because he also felt pity for that match girl students from this session we come to know that the happy prince and the swallow both were very kind and they have a lot of pity for the poor suffering people the happy prince could see the ugliness of the city from where it was situated the little swallow was doing whatever the prince directed him to do the swallow helped the young fellow in completing his play for theater with the valuable sapphire the story depicts the kind nature of happy prince the prince had not seen any misery when he was alive still he felt pity for the suffering people after death students just try to understand this even when the happy prince knows it very well if he had given the sapphire of another eye to the young fellow then he would not be able to see again but he is ready to do so because he is of very kind heart and he could not see the people suffering in the city and whereas swallow when came to knew that the happy prince is left only with one eye so at first he refused to pluck out another fire from the eye of happy prince but later on he agrees to do so because he also could not see the poor people suffering so he decided to do whatever prince has told him and to help the poor people students see this is a story of true love and sacrifice for men kind now before i close my session here let me do my favorite job to that is to give you homework students from this session we come to know that the happy prince and the swallow both were very kind and they have a lot of pity for the poor suffering people the happy prince could see the ugliness of the city from where it was situated the little swallow was doing whatever the prince directed him to do the swallow helped the young fellow in completing his play for theater with the valuable sapphire the story depicts the kind nature of happy prince the prince had not seen any misery when he was alive still he felt pity for the suffering people after death students just try to understand this even when the happy prince knows it very well if he had given the sapphire of another eye to the young fellow then he would not be able to see again but he is ready to do so because he is of very kind heart and he could not see the people suffering in the city and whereas swallow when came to knew that the happy prince is left only with one eye so at first he refused to pluck out another fire from the eye of happy prince but later on he agrees to do so because he also could not see the poor people suffering so he decided to do whatever prince has told him and to help the poor people students see this is a story of true love and sacrifice for men kind now before i close my session here let me do my favorite job to that is to give you homework so students today your homework is write true and false of the following sentences first one is swallow's friends were waiting for him in egypt second one is the happy prince lived a miserable life when he was alive and the third sentence is 
the statue was set up in a park and the fourth one is the heart of happy prince was made of lead students you just have to write down in your notebooks whether this sentence is true or false students next one is to fill it with correct words the words which are given to you in the brackets they are called homonyms homonyms means same sounds but having different meaning and different words first one is you have dash drenched me both of words are quiet but having different spellings so you have to be careful which word you have to fill in the fill up second one is the poet's dash was filled with joy and the third one is winter dryness makes her skin dash fourth one is there is no fire in the dash fifth one is they pulled down the dash of the happy prince students you must have understood this chapter very carefully so whatever you have understood from this session till now with the help of that you have to write down a short note on the sufferings of poor people in the city so this is it for today's session till the next session have a good day and stay tuned